Hello students, this is a Mass Worksheet 28, Chapter Number 6, Integers. Dear students, this is a new chapter. Dear students, you will also follow COVID appropriate behavior, so you have a mask, follow physical distancing and maintain hand hygiene. So now students, look at this picture very carefully here. So these are the clouds here. And what we see here, this fighter jet fly above the clouds, right? And when it's fly below the clouds, so here we say that this fighter jet fly below the clouds, right? But this time, if we take here this cloud as a zero, okay and when it's move upside it's move positive side right and when it's move below clouds it means negative side so here we say that this fighter jet flies above the clouds it means positive right and when it's move below the clouds it means it's move negative side and here we will discuss two types of number here some numbers are positive and some numbers are negative numbers which having negative and positive symbols these type of numbers are known as integers right so now students today we will discuss about integers so now this is a new chapter chapter number six integers so now here first we write the definition of integer here what is integer so now this is the chapter number six integers so here first we write the definition of integer here so here we write collection of negative numbers like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on and whole numbers whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on okay are known as integers what is the definition of integer collection of negative numbers negative numbers like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and the other number also and whole numbers 0 1 2 3 are known as integers So now basically here we will discuss about two types of integer here. Positive integer. Okay. Positive integers. So here the numbers. One, comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five, six. That is natural numbers. Are called. positive integers right and what are the negative integers
so the integers or the numbers like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on the other numbers are called negative integers right now here we will discuss about the representation of integers on the number line we also represent these numbers or these integers on the number line like here we draw a line here and here we take the midpoint as a zero here and dear students remember one thing here when we write positive integers so we write right hand side of the zero right so here we write positive integers right and left hand side of the zero here we write negative integers here we write negative so here we write positive integers on the right hand side of the zero and write negative integers on the left hand side of the zero now here we start from positive integers so here we write 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on now we write negative integers and start from minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on so here we write positive integers right hand side of the 0 and we write negative integers left hand side of the 0 now here we solve some questions related to representation of integers on the number line now students here we take some questions related to your chapter number 6 integers now here we take question number 1 write opposites of the following write so here we write the first part of this question increase in weight increase in weight so what is the negative of this statement increase in weight so here we write decrease in weight okay here we write decrease in weight now the second statement is loss of seven hundred rupees now here we write the opposite of this statement profit of is seven hundred now here we take third part of this question eighty meter east right 80 meter east what is the opposite of direction east here right west 80 meter west okay students dear students here we write opposites of the given statement here increase in weight decrease in weight loss of 700 rupees 
profit of 700 rupees 80 meter east 80 meter west right now here we take some an another example related to chapter number six integers now these questions are related to exercise 6.1 and this is a question number two here represent the following numbers as integers with appropriate sign with appropriate signs okay now here we take first part of this question A deposit a deposit of rupees two hundred okay a deposit of rupees 200 it means he deposit 200 rupees in their account so this amount 200 add with the previous amount which already deposited in their account so here we write plus 200 right now the second part of this question a submarine is moving at a depth eight hundred meter blue the sea level okay so the statement is a submarine is moving at a depth 800 meter below the sea level if here we take a one example of this question here this is a sea here and here we draw a submarine right which and here we take the sea level as a zero point okay and if we move downside it means negative and when it's move upside it means positive so here this submarine move below the sea level and 800 meters below the sea level so it means negative 800 so here we use negative symbol with 800 so here we denote 800 meter below the sea level when we use negative 800 right the C part
withdrawal of rupees 700 right so here if any person withdraw amount of any amount of money with their account it means this money deducted with the account of the person and here we take an example here like if you have a total 200 rupees and you take 100 rupees with the total amount 200 so here the left money is equal to 100 rupees here this is the deduction in the account of the person so now withdrawal of rupees 700 mean minus 700 now the next question is represent the following numbers on a number line represent the following numbers on the number line right so here plus 5 now here first we draw line here and here we take 0 here and now you all know that here we mark negative numbers on the left hand side of the 0 and positive number on the right hand side of the 0 so here we write 1 2 3 4 5 now here minus 1 and minus 2 so here plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5 is here so here we circle out this number on the number line now the next number is minus 1 now here we again draw a line here now here we take 0 here and you all know that here we write negative numbers on the left hand side of the 0 here so we circle out this number on the number line so you represent the number or integers on the number line by using same method now students here we will discuss rule for integers sign numbers now addition in addition when we add two positive symbol or put two positive numbers here we get some in positive now the next when we add two minus number here here we get our sum in minus now plus minus is plus why here plus because here we put plus symbol but why if the positive number with positive symbol is greater so here we put positive symbol in our answer now plus minus equal to minus why it is minus here because with the greater number having negative symbol so here we take negative symbol in our answer right and you all know that plus minus is minus here now students in multiplication when you multiply two positive symbols or number we get product and positive now when we multiply two negative symbol numbers so here we get our sum here we get our product and positive now 
when we multiply one positive and one negative symbol number so here we get our product in negative now when we multiply negative and positive symbol number multiply negative and positive symbol numbers so here we get our product in negative now dividing integers rule now when we divide positive number with a positive number here we get our quotient in positive now when we divide negative and negative symbol number so here we get our answer in and our quotient in positive now when we divide one positive and one negative number here so here we get our quotient in negative now when we divide one negative and one positive number so here we get our question in negative now remember one point here student same sign equal to positive and different sign equal to negative here so here we get a same sign here it means positive here same sign equal to positive these two signs are different here so here we get negative now these two signs are different so here we get negative it means same sign we get our question positive and when the different signs are there here we get now dividing integers rule now when we divide positive number with a positive number here we get our question in positive now when we divide negative and negative symbol number so here we get our answer in and our question in positive now when we divide one positive and one negative number here so here we get our quotient in negative now when we divide one negative and one positive number so here we get our quotient in negative now remember one point here student same sign equal to positive and different sign equal to negative here so here we get a same sign here it means positive here same sign equal to positive these two signs are different here so here we get negative now these two signs are different so here we get negative it means same sign we get our question positive and when the different signs are there here we get our question and negative integers right the question is So here we write 5 less than 2 means 2 minus 5. And here when we subtract minus 5 and 2 here, so here we get 3. And here we put negative symbol with 3 here because 5 is greater as compared to 2 and 5 having negative symbol here. Now the next part of this question. 8 more than minus 9. So here we write minus 9 plus 8. Because here 8 more than minus 9. So here minus 9 and you all know that plus minus or minus plus minus. So here we subtract these two numbers here and here we get 1 as a difference. And here we put negative symbol because 9 is greater as compared to 8 and 9 having negative symbol here. So you put negative symbol and here we get minus 1. Now the new part of this question. 
4 less than minus 3. So here we write minus 3 and minus 4. Now you all know that minus minus is plus, but here we put negative symbol, right? We get something negative. So here 3 plus 4, 7, and here we have minus 7. Multiplication. Now here we take first positive positive numbers here and positive symbols here like plus multiply by plus and positive symbol multiply by positive symbol. So here we get one product in positive. Okay. Now here we take one positive and one negative. So plus minus is minus here in multiplication. Now minus and plus. So here again negative. Then minus multiply with minus symbol so here we get plus right now here we solve some questions related to these all multiplication symbols here so here we get here we take first number here like plus 2 multiply with plus 3 ok so here we get 2 3 are 6 here and positive because you all know that if you multiply positive numbers here like plus 2 and plus 3 so here we get product in positive right positive symbol multiply with negative so here we take first number positive here and any other symbol not mentioned in the number so it means it is positive every time it is positive right so here we take one number here like 3 multiply with minus 4 so here we multiply these two numbers here, 3, 4 are 12, right? And you all know that if we multiply positive and negative symbols, so here we get our product in negative. So 3, 4 are 12, so here we get minus 12 here, right? Now we take another example related to if the first number is negative and the second, the second number is positive here. So here we take two numbers here, like minus 5 multiply by uh, okay, here we write only 3 here, right? Because if there is no symbol mentioned in the number, so it means it is positive. So here we say that 3 is positive here. And if there is symbol negative, so it, there is mention and U symbol here, negative here. So now here we get 5 is a 15. Okay, and here we get minus 15 here because you all know that when we multiply negative symbol with positive symbol we get product in negative now the next question is so here we take these two numbers with negative and negative symbol multiply with negative symbol so here we get our product in positive so here we take two numbers here like minus 4 multiply with minus 4 ok so here you all know that minus minus plus ok so here we get 4 4 is 16 here so now here first we show integers on number line. Okay, so here it is an integers on number line. So here first we draw a line here. Okay. And then middle of this line, here we write a symbol. Right? So from this zero, if we move right hand side of the zero, it means here we write positive numbers here. And if we move left hand side of the zero, it means here we write negative numbers here. Like here we write one. It means plus 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, 6 and so on. Now here we write minus 1, minus 2, 
minus 3, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5, and minus 6. Right? Now, here we take one example here related to show the numbers on the number line. Okay? So, here we take one example here like minus 6. Okay? So, here we represent this minus 6 on the number line. So, here we draw first number line here. So where is minus 6 here? So here. Okay. So here is minus 6. Like here we from like this. Minus 1. From the left hand side of the 0. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Now here we have to represent plus 4 here. Plus 4. So how we design this number? So here we start with the 0 and from right hand side. Like 1, 2, 3, 4. Here. So here is positive 4. Right? So the first number is 3 plus 4. Okay, so here first we draw a number line here.
So now here we take some questions related to this comparison. So here is 0 and minus 8. Okay. Now B power. Thank you. 